what's good guys it's your girl lady luck and i'm back <laughs> i'm back with another video and as you can see by the title i will be reacting to some old pictures of mine now i had a lot of old pictures on myspace but i don't have access to that anymore so i kind of had to do a little digging and you know facebook and old pictures you know phone and, and trying to find some old pictures so i got maybe like 10 10 to 12 pictures or whatever i'm gonna go through i'm gonna start from baby me to close to me now okay not so much me now now but close to me now <laughs> but before i get into this video i want you guys to please like and subscribe i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before my birthday and if some of you don't know if you didn't see the video previous to this or if this video is before that video i'm not sure but my birthday is september 10th and right now i'm at 56 subscribers and i want to reach 100 by my birthday so if you guys can please like and subscribe share the video with other people so that they can like and subscribe as i'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by my birthday so please 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 okay so let's get into this video um, as I'm talking about the pictures, I will have the pictures up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at in my phone. So, first picture we're going to do is my baby picture. But this is a picture, I don't, I have to confirm, <laughs> confirm if, if you see both of us in the picture. Matter of fact, you're going to see both of us in the picture. It's a picture of me and my brother. Um, I think I might have been one in this picture and he was two i know i look really 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 young um but yeah i was a really fat baby like i literally didn't start walking until i was almost two years old really fat but yeah you know my little curls going my little referee shirt <laughs> ma who picked this outfit out <laughs> i look like a baby referee but yeah this is my baby picture ain't i so cute ain't i ain't i all right, so next picture we're gonna go to is um let's do my eighth grade oh this was my eighth grade pro, um uh, graduation pictures I was so cute look at that smile so cute I wanted to get my nails done but my mommy wouldn't let me but still it's still cute still cute picture and I'm so happy I did not have to wear a turtleneck. Because I swear every picture day, she, it either a turtle, no, not even either. But no, I had on, she would put a turtleneck and a, a little sweater over top of it. Or it was a turtleneck with like a plaid button up. Always. I'm like, yo, what is it with you lady with these, with these turtlenecks? I don't like turtlenecks. I don't like turtlenecks. All right next picture let's do okay since we're in eighth grade right we, we just did the eighth grade graduation now this is my eighth grade prom picture so this picture is me and my dad i don't know who caught this picture but shout out to y'all um he had just gotten off of work i was a little nervous because i'm like is he gonna make it before i leave i need to see my dad you know what i mean and he showed up right out of work he made it to see his baby girl um go to prom yes I love that prom dress. That prom dress, I loved. It It was uh, fitted like a corset top, and then it flowed out at the bottom, um, like, you know, the sheer puffy thing. It wasn't no revealing type of thing. It came up, it had little spaghetti straps at the top. And yeah, but that's the picture of me and my dad. Um, when he first got there, we was getting ready to hug, and somebody caught that picture. Shout out to that photographer. I don't know who it is, but shout out. Um, let's see. Um, see, I don't know. Was I graduated in this picture? I think I was still in high school. All right, so I'm gonna go with this picture. Um, I think I had a cast on in this picture. I'm not sure because I had surgery on my foot and I was still trying to get around. Okay, I might not have though, but like as you see, I had the name belt. That's when the name belts was popping. We used to go to the uh, local hair supply, beauty supply store, and they had the name belts. They had the ones where you like type it in in the back, and it like rolled across the screen. 
if you ain't have one of those boats you wasn't popping okay now i think back it was like a little country but yeah they had it where you can like change the letters of course as you can see mine said nay nay okay because that was me and um you kind of see my sister hand i cropped her out because i didn't know if she wanted to be exposed but as you can see on her wrist that's on my shoulder she had the name bracelet steph but i didn't want to expose you i think she had the the name belt too she had a name belt but her name belt says something else but um yeah my little oh man i used to get wet sets all the time that was my hairstyle i loved wet sets my aunt used to hook hook me up and um i don't know i just we, we used to do this all the time we used to me and her we used to just get dressed up matching kind of sort of and we would just go downtown to the little jewelry spot that had a little photo spot in the back of the store <laughs> I don't even, do they still do that anywhere downtown anybody know that let me know leave it in, in the comments but yeah we used to go to the little jewelry spot and they had a little photo spot in the back of the store and we used to go there and we used to take some pictures and we used to get a little four by six eight by tens and all this stuff and give them to family but we would keep it i have a bunch of pictures that we took me and my sister um yeah that's that that's that now this picture now if you go back to my walmart haul video right I was I had uh, bought these fatigue pants and I was telling you about a picture that I had when um I had a fatigue outfit it was a skirt and a vest and I went and took pictures at the little downtown spot the little downtown photo spot but yeah I took pictures down there and I had it this is the picture that I'm talking about and in this picture I had on black K Swiss black case was you couldn't tell me nothing i was fly with the little mini skirt fatigue and the jacket and i had the fatigue green um spaghetti strap shirt on and this i don't know if this was for my birthday i took these pictures because i it was like i took three i had three other outfits that i took pictures in and i was like changing I, listen you would have thought i was some type of model or superstar or something like that but i i love these pictures it was another one i had a white dress on but it had like it was like a halter and the halter was like blue red and white a stripe or strap around my neck but it was all white that was nice too but yeah that's that that's the picture i was talking about with my fatigue i love me some fatigue okay and let's go to this one so now this picture i was i think i was still in high school and I was hanging out with, um, I call her my sis too, but this is Brittany. I met her through somebody who will remain, remain nameless. Uh, but yeah, he introduced us or whatever. And, um, we was like cool ever since then. So I used to always hang out with her. She used to pick me up. She's older or whatever. I think she was, in, she was in college at this time or whatever. And this was around either Christmas or New Year's around that time. I don't know if you can tell in this picture but i had these hazel contacts that i used to love i used to buy so i had some hazel contacts and i had my braids done and i was like chilling with her in the back seat of her car and got a little flick like flick 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 could tell me nothing my braids hanging out the side i was fly i think she might have even did these braids to be honest but yeah, that was me and <laughs> all right let's go to Oh, let's go to this one. This is, as you can see, me and my husband. He came to me to, uh, with, we came, he came with me. Dang, I can't even talk. Blech. He came with me to my senior prom. And, um, this is my prom pictures. Yeah, he had braids back then. And, um, I looked like a clown. Okay. Um, I was so skinny. Look how skinny I was. Now I'm more fat shaped like an egg. But I was so skinny. Look how skinny. I wish my dress was fitted. I wish it was more fitted. Um, if I go back in time, I would definitely, definitely, definitely do my dress over. Dress and makeup. See, the makeup itself wasn't bad. I think the only thing that was wrong was that I used my mom's foundation. And... Um, I don't know if you can tell in a previous video, me and my mom are a little, you know, different shades. And she thought that her shade would be okay, but I felt like I looked a little pale. It was just, it was a lot. It was a lot. But we had, a, I had a really, really fun night that night. 
prom was so much fun. I love my graduating class. They were so much fun. Like we was literally a class that got along with everybody. It was only like 60 something of us, but we were all cool with each other. Um, so let's go to, let's go. Oh, this picture, oh, no, no, sorry. Let's rewind, okay? Let's go to this picture, okay? So this picture, I was in North Carolina. I was in the bathroom at some restaurant. We went out to eat for my grandmother's birthday, I believe. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I was about five, five or six months pregnant in this picture with my DJ DJ and no one knew like my family knew but like nobody like outside the family because i didn't really post that i was pregnant on social media until i was about seven eight months um i just i, I just didn't post it like my close family and close friends knew that i was pregnant but you can't even tell in this picture if i would have turned to the side you probably could have tell a little bit more but yeah i was five to six months pregnant and then this trip oh my gosh i remember because we drove down and I had to, I couldn't stand too long because my feet would swell up so, so bad to the point where I felt like if somebody would have stuck me with like a little needle or something, my foot would have just bust open. That's how fat and swollen my feet was. Right, Ma? Right, Ma? Okay. Now, this picture is after DJ. This picture is after DJ. I was invited to a wedding. Uh, not, no, it wasn't a wedding. What am I talking about? So I worked at a doctor's office around this time and um, one of the doctors dear daughter was turning 15 and he had a they had a bat mitzvah uh, yeah bat mitzvah for her and um, I was invited so this is what I wore this little goddess dress is what I call it it's funny because I think I only wore it this one time and I love the dress I still got it I just never wore it I don't think I've ever worn it again I don't remember wearing it again but yeah my hair I just got my hair done um, I had to get it cut because I had a lot of damaged um, ends from you know it grew so much when I was pregnant and all that stuff because I think I had it cut a little bit before I got pregnant and it was like finally growing out and getting healthy shout out to my hairstylist you know who you are and um, yeah I looked so nice there my boobs were huge because I was breastfeeding my boobs were huge. I feel like I look like Wendy Williams. You know how she like real big and you know big on the top of her boobs and then her waist get all small. That's how I feel like I look. But that dress is so cute. I, I loved that dress and I had some nice like um, almost like gladiator type heels. I love those heels but they was like really really old so I had to get rid of them. I had them for a really long time and they were so comfortable though. They had like buckles around it and it zipped in the back. So comfortable so comfortable and then, then oh i forgot about this picture we're gonna have to rewind a little bit go back to high school um um so my high school i went to performing arts high school i went to rosa parks if you didn't know and i was a drama major and um part of our grade we had to dress up for halloween but not only did we have to dress up for halloween we had to basically create a costume so this is my freshman year i was kind of new to the whole create your costume type thing so i just got like a hand-me-down costume from somebody and this was my costume my mom curled my hair up for me real good and i was basically i was i don't know if you guys know the movie gone with the wind but i was scarlet o'hare that was me so i had the gloves on i had a little chinese fan Cause I couldn't find a, you know, that, that, that's what I had. That's what I had. And yeah, that was my outfit. Um, my best friend Candace was next to me. I'm not going to show her. I'm going to scoop her out. Cause I don't want her to be like, why would you do that? You know? So yeah, that's, that's me. Uh, that was my freshman year of high school. And then last but not least. No, not last but not least. Okay. This is my high school um graduation pictures now i regret not ordering pictures but i still have my proofs <laughs> so i still have my proofs so i still have pictures or whatever to you know look back at but i wish i had ordered pictures to like hang on the wall or like put in a photo album or something like that i didn't 
I didn't order pictures. But yeah, this is me. My aunt did my hair. I had the hump. You know, that was in the style back then. I had the hump with the ponytail, long ponytail. And yes, I had my mom's earrings on because of course I always lost my earrings. And at that time I had two holes in my ears. My dad was not happy about that. But it was there, two holes in my ears. And yeah. I was cute back then, girl. Man, listen. All right, so now this is the last picture. This was last year, Halloween. Last year, Halloween. I finally, finally, finally talked my husband into dressing up for Halloween. And it was all because we was kind of invited to a Halloween party. We didn't have to dress up at the Halloween party, but they had like a little cash prize, best costume, da 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 bop, bop. You know, we was trying to win that money. Even though it was a little, we was we was not trying to get on stage so people could vote for us. So we ended up not winning the money. But yeah, we were Mr. and Mrs. Kruger, okay? There you don't see, I had, later on that night, I put like little scars and stuff off. You know, shout out to Derainy. Shout out to you for the, you know, you hooked, you you know, you, you know. Shout out to you, Derainy. But yeah, I put scars on my husband's face. I had the hand with the, the you know, the little nod things, whatever he had, his little hat and his, we was killing it. We was killing it. But this is me at work. So I just kept it simple. But that was the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, this video. Um, these, um, two ladies from... Sorry. I'm going to shout out two ladies that's, that's doing their own thing. That's doing their business. Okay. First we got SN underscore Queen Beauty. I'm in the parking lot, guys, so it's a lot going on around me. I'm sorry. Yes, SN underscore Queen Beauty, and she does hair, skincare, makeup, waxes, and I think she does eyelashes and all that stuff, okay? And she tr she will travel to you as far as you travel to her. Um, I believe that she's like New Jersey, PA area type thing. Um, but yes, I posted on my, on my page that you know like i was my skin was stressed you know trying to figure out what type of regimen boom like not even two minutes after i posted it she hit me up with all these products like literally mad products like different uh, uh cleansers toners moisturizers um acne stuff exfoliants face masks and not only did she hit me up with all this information but it wasn't like Oh, you got to go Sephora and pay, you know, $30 for this and Ulta and pay for this. All the products that she mentioned were from Walmart. Am I focused? I'm hot, guys. Um, But yeah, um, <laughs> all the products were from Walmart. So there are, there are affordable things out there for us to use. There are. We don't always have to go and spend and, you know, do the expensive. It's all about consistency and finding out what works best for your skin. Now, if the expensive products works, work best for you, then that's that. But, yes, check her out. Um, you looking for a wax. You looking for um, get your hair done, dye, cuts, braids, um, locks. She do it all. Makeup. Hit her up. She got a couple um, pictures on her page. You guys can check her out. And then we're gonna go with Brit. Uh, I don't know if she have a um a page specifically for her hair. Um, let me see. Okay, so I don't know if she have a specific page. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, I don't remember if she have a specific page for her hair. Um, and her nails, but. This is her page, um, Lady Brit 913. She did um, these braids for me. Okay, she did these braids, and she is a cosmetologist. She's a cosmetologist, licensed, and she does hair, and she's doing nails now also, because you know, during this whole quarantine, people had to tap 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 into side hustles and not even just side hustles but more business opportunities for themselves to make sure their family is good and where they need to be so yes she's doing nails now um remember all, all the information will be linked down below 
um check them out you want your hair done you want your nails done you want a little wax you want a little facial exfoliant and all that good stuff hit these ladies up because they they really do some good work okay okay again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy me and um my birthday is september 10th and i want to hit 100 subscribers before before will be nice but you know by my birthday i want to reach a thousand a hundred a thousand Shh. i wish manifest right but i want to reach a hundred I'm at 56 right now, so I'm halfway there. I just need you guys to share. Share these videos. Like my videos. Subscribe to my channel. And click that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. And until next time, love you guys. Bye. Hey. <laughs>